Hello everyone and welcome in FPJ VGL tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to interface 7 segment with the Xilinx FPGA Spartan 6. So let's get started. Because we know that our Nexus 3 board have built in F uh, 7 segment display so we need to get to the reference manual of this uh, nexus 3 board so that we can find out what are the pin configuration of these seven segments and how they are connected with the xilinx F, uh, fpga so here you can see this a four digit seven segment display we are only going to use the single digit in this tutorial we are uh, going to explain how to multiplex uh, seven segment in the next tutorial so stay tuned and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet so after that we need to find out where these FPGA pins are located in the reference manual so scroll down until you find out the FPGA and the seven segment related diagrams you need to uh, save this reference manual along with your all projects here you can see these are the pins where the cathodes are connected and uh, these are the pins n16 up to p17 uh, where the anodes are connected so uh, the common it is a common anode four digit multiplex seven segment display so that's the information we need to know before we get started into our seven segment display interfacing we are going to use the first digit so we are we need n16 but we are going to use all these four digits because uh, we need to uh, make all the other digits off to off a digit we need to put a 1 on the pin and to on a digit we need to put 0 on the respective anode terminal and uh, to uh, digit uh, on the segment a single segment of a digit we need to put a 0 on the cathode terminal as well so we need to put a 0 to uh, display the single segment to turn on the single segment uh, let's uh, take an example if we want to display one we need to make b and uh, c zero and all other uh, cathodes will be one so here t18 and t17 will be zero and all the other pin will be one uh, same for if we want to display the seven on this seven segment we need to turn on a b c segments and turn off all other segments so we need to put zero on uh, c a mean t17 pin number and t18 and t is uh, u17 and all other pin will be one so we need to prepare a code for this here you can see i have prepared a process uh, which takes a counter value and uh, when the counter value is zero it uh, place the uh, these uh, bit stream to the cathode terminals and if the one and all uh, only b and c is zero and all other are one and same all codes are up to zero to nine i have prepared and i place this in a case statement this is the way to uh, implement a case statement in a vhdl the case statement what the case statement do it is kind of checking a variable which in our case is a counter variable and when the counter variable is zero it outputs count it, it attach cathodes with this value and when is it is one it attach this here you need to uh, keep in mind these equal to and greater than sign and here less than and equal to sign less than and equal to sign as i have had mentioned in my previous tutorial it is to assign some value to some other uh, value it is an assignment operator and this value is an uh, allocation operator it means when this condition is true it, th this body will be executed so it is a kind of arrow which is uh, located into the uh, rightward direction so this is a process you, process you need to implement in your seven segment display interfacing and whenever the counter value will be changing from 0 to 9 it will be uh, change uh, it will accordingly change the cathode terminal value it is kind of a look lookup table in vhdl so let's open over ise uh, and uh, create a new project i am naming this project tutorial three 
and once everything is done I am creating a new source file which is a VHDL module and I am naming, naming it as seg1 and here I need to define something I first of all I need a clock which is input directed second and nodes and here I am going to mention that this is a bus MSB is 3 to 0 it means it will uh, allocate 4 bits in it and for cathodes I'm going to one more thing it, these both are output and 7 to 0 it means it will take an 8 bits one byte next and finish well we are in our main VSDL module let let's just copy our constraint file create a new source file and uh, create a UCF constraint file name it same like your module finish and now you have one more constraint file just I prepared this constraint file already copy it here according to the your reference manual like this come back save the file and now come back in our main VHDL module here you need to grab a clock divider you need to implement a process like you did in your uh, LED blinking and process if you have not watched my previous tutorial please go back if, and uh, check out the second tutorial series which is a LED blink program where I have taught you how to divide a clock and how to use our processes uh, so uh, begin and end process here you have a clock clock process and uh, you need to check if uh, rising edge of the clock it means uh, then uh, and F here you need to do clock division so before you do the clock division you need to implement uh, our register uh, let's build a scenario what we are going to do in this tutorial we are going to increment a single digit from uh, uh, 0 to 9 and afterward back to the uh, 0 so we are actually creating a delay just like we did in our previous tutorial of 500 millisecond delay so uh, to reuse our code we are going to grab our function from the previous uh, tutorial where we created a 500 millisecond delay for a blinking and a LED so let me take this code from the previous code because of uh, uh, 100 megahertz clock we need uh, to get if we need to get a 50 500 millisecond delay we need to count up to the 50 million times so that's i am going to use a clock counter just like in the previous tutorial next in a rising at check we need to increment this counter clock after that we need to check if this clock is at over required 50 million times if it is so we need to uh, make it zero again so here we got our uh, 500 millisecond delay we can do whatever we want to do in this where i put a commands okay so we have this in here what we want to do here we want to increment a counter value so let's create a signal of counter and uh, let it be a natural ranging from 0 to uh, 9 and initialize this with the 0 so we have a counter which is a 0 one thing we need to uh, do is uh, let the anodes uh, at a fixed value of uh, 1110 it means only the first digit will be enabled if we put a zero here all the same value will be displayed on all four digits so it doesn't matter if you put, make all this zero and the, or just switch off all the three other digits and keep first digit on it is up to you what you want to do we are only going to use the first digit so we are only doing the uh, first and not 
0. And if you face an error like this, uh, it means uh, we just need to put a uh, double quotes here and this error is gone. Now uh, I need to copy the process of the counter variable for the counter variable and here we need to increment the counter after we put a clock uh, up to the zero and we need to increment counter is equal to counter plus one and if the counter is greater than nine um, then all we have to do is uh, counter is equal to zero again and end if okay so that's all for our if statement for here and uh, let it be a uh, 10 here 0 to 10 okay so now we need to copy a uh, create a new process for the counter and begin this process and end process here and here we need to implement a case for the counter and we need to copy all the case here okay this is what I prepared the for giving the values to the cathode terminals I am just going to copy and replacing this process and that's all for now we now uh, need to select the top model here and uh, synthesize after that implement design and generate programming file we got this uh, error in the synthesize process which says the cathode is not uh, defined so we just uh, replace it with the actual spelling mistake we did in our declaration okay like this and resynthesize the process okay one more error we got is that uh, the uh, it says that case statement does not cover all choices others clause is needed Be uh, this is uh, coming because we mentioned that our counter variable is going to from 0 to 10 but we know that we are resetting over counter if it is 10 to back to the 0 but the VHDL doesn't know that it, and it assumes that it may go to the 10 or other values so all we have to do is to implement a new uh, other clause which will cover this and it means if the counter value is other than 0 to 9 or the cases we mentioned and if the counter value is other than that what we need to do all uh, we need to do is to just put up other clause here and we are just going to keep all the eight variables one 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 okay so that's how we covered it means it will switch off the all the digits and uh, although it is not happening here let's re uh, save this and resynthesize again and see if we face uh, still face any error or not whoa finally over process uh, over file is synthesized properly now let's implement the design and uh, and if it is goes green as well then we will move to the generate programming file and finally we are going to dump this file into our fpj and sing oh 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 over uh, this is also having a bad thing it it is just because the spell mistake in the ucf file just replace the cathodes here as well and it is just a uh, e which i misspelled everywhere so now i have to do this again and again wherever i did this and just re-implement the design implementing the design could take time and if uh, when it go green generate the programming file and uh, meanwhile open connect your fpj board with the USB port and when your programming file is generated open the adapt to program your FPGA it will detect your board nexus 3 like this and browse your file where we created our tutorial 3 
this one and bit file and program if everything goes well you will see your counter running from 0 to 9 well that's all for today's tutorial hope you like the video please like comment share and if you have any question leave a comment thank you so much